Jumai University's Aviation Science and Aerospace Engineering Academy has inaugurated the first Aviation Science and Aerospace Engineering Academy in the history of Ethiopian universities. Training will be started in the coming new year. The academy with a standardized aviation training center, equipped with a state of simulation and based in class training. Dr. Jamal Abafita, president of Jumai University, said that the university has been preparing for the past two decades to produce a competent and competitive generation in the field of aviation in Ethiopia. Dr. Jamal added that this newly opened Academy of Aviation Science and Aerospace Engineering opens a big chapter in the history of Ethiopian public universities and shows a new chapter of cooperation and development in the society. We are here to celebrate a milestone achievement and we are looking forward to seizing opportunities to achieve more together with partners home and abroad. Please allow me to applaud esteemed friends who have traveled thousands of miles all the way from the US to here, please. With these friends and partners, and possibly with friends, their friends from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, and other HBCUs, we are convinced that there is nothing that can stop us from realizing our dreams. Jima University, a pioneer in community-based education philosophy, stands as a symbol of resilience in the face of challenge, particularly when it comes to introducing and more importantly sustaining new programs like this. Jima University counts on the rich expertise and experience of each and every one of you present here in, the, in going forward with this project. Your professional inputs will help us enhance the quality of the program. Director General of Ethiopian Civil Aviation, Getacho Mangiste, on his part said that the academy will shape the future of Ethiopia's aviation industry. This academy represents an exciting new chapter for the aviation industry in Ethiopia with the potential to shape the future of aviation by nurturing the next generation of aviation professionals and engineers equipped with knowledge and skills. It represents a critical investment in our future, a future where Ethiopia continues to stand tall in the aviation industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this launch comes at the pivotal moment of Ethiopian aviation sector. As many of you are aware, the Ethiopian Civil Aviation Authority has recently embarked on the Civil Aviation Transformation Program. This transformation program is a cornerstone of our efforts to modernize and strengthen Ethiopia's aviation industry, enabling us to align our service with emerging technologies and trends, respond to the fierce competition, and meet the ever evolving global and regional requirements. The establishment of this academy is therefore in perfect harmony with these efforts as it aims to provide education and training that will empower our youth to contribute to the transformation of our skies. Ato Gitacho also mentioned that this is the first real academy in collaboration between the aviation industry and government higher education institutions and stated that it is a sign of Jimba University's commitment to the sector. The academy was opened by the cooperation of Jimba University, Ethiopian Airlines, Air Force, Defense College, Civil Aviation Authority, Abyssinia Flight Service and University of Maryland. The representatives of these stakeholders said that the academy will produce competitive manpower and bring opportunities to engage in world-class aviation industries. Overall, where we will be repairing, not competing with Ethiopian Airlines, but repairing these corporate jets, small jets that right now are taking their work to Kenya and South Africa. We'll bring it back home and we'll make it out of Jimma. And distinguished guests, uh, I just want to take a moment and, and, help, and let you realize how important this is, how quickly a seed was planted and in less than 18 months, a soft launch. That's unheard of. That's unheard of in the U.S. It's unheard of anywhere. You know, so you guys need to give yourself an applause.
you know, for how far we've come in such a short period of time. You know, the other thing I want to take and acknowledge, and I'm following Captain Abbey is always a tough thing, but, you know, we're the largest African-American owned company doing what we do in the U.S. So for me, it was important that when he and I got together and he wanted us to come to Ethiopia, 